Street. Y'all, this is a monstrositous one. Back at y'all again. Your homeboy, your man, your brother from another mother. <laughs> your brother from another mother. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'm back at y'all with another com with uh, another video on these Comics Gate statues. And, uh, hey, I got the light so that y'all can see the what I've been doing. Because it's hard to check this shit out without the light. You can't see all of the... See, that shit goes kind of flat <laughs> without that other light. Okay, there we go. Some dark in here. So you can see I've been widening the body. I widen the body. He needs to get some more heft on him. Some girth. Some bulk. So I've been bulking up his legs. Starting to form the shapes. Uh, trying to get his hip bones right. Working myself down to the knees. And uh, I haven't put his lats on yet. That's going to really spread him out. I think I got to give him a little bit more width in the body. You see I'm starting to create some folds there. And then I, uh, I stabilize his arm more. And I put some more mass on his pecs and started pushing his shoulder back a little bit more because he needed to have that push back shoulder look when you see the shoulder go on there. I wish I had a camera that I could set so that you could watch me do it, but I don't have a camera like that, a mounted camera. So this is what I got. And uh, oh, here we go. You can see I, I put some more clay on his ass because I saw that that was going to have to get bigger because his thighs are going to get bigger. And then his calves. And uh, let me see if I can. Okay, you can see that cavity up in there. You can see I've been working, trying to get shape to his shoulders. That's one of his traps. Up here, and then I'm gonna put another one on the other side, and uh, then I gotta put his shoulder in. But uh, yeah, I put so I worked a little on his face. It's slow going because um, I'm working in these small bricks. You see, and if you could tell, one is light and one is dark. Well, the dark one is hard, and the light one is soft. Uh, next time I'm gonna get medium and hard, or or just get hard. Uh, uh, but anyway, I mix them together and I get medium. And but mixing them, these things are not. They they're hard like a motherfucking rock. They don't fucking. It takes a while for them to soften up. So I use the I use the lamp, the heat from the lamp to melted it takes about an hour to get it soft and i watch some tv or something then i been i get some of this uh a couple of these few of these uh melted and i get a clump like that i mix it together and then i rip it apart and and i put it on so this is what's left of the what i was working with and that's the next one that i'm going to throw up while the other stuff melts or gets soft. So, it's a good workout on the hands, man. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm trying to, to get his uh, the shapes right. I'm trying to get the forms right. See that that uh, midline going down his abdomen? Uh, I'm trying, that's off a little. It's too straight. I got to get more of a, a curve to it. I want it to curve because it's coming up, see, from his crotch, it's got to go this way and then curve over. And it's just going straight up there. So um, I got to work on that a little bit. And then I got to work on his oblique muscles. Uh, I think they're a little too thick looking there. And I got to work on his hip, um, his hip bones over here and get them both on the right angles, trajectory, and uh, his rib cage, I think it needs a little bit more big, a uh, little more length to it. And I added some to his face. I gave him more jaw, chin, 
and uh, and I got because uh, I know his shoulders got to be right close to his face. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm rounding off his head, I'm starting to round off his head a little, and uh, I gotta I I think I did too much too soon because I gotta work on his top pectoral muscle right there. I still probably might have to add some. So, uh, I added some to his arm, and, uh, I haven't cut that stuff off yet, because I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it, uh, so, uh, I'm not sure yet, but, uh, uh, I, I know, yeah, I forgot to measure, that's what happened, I forgot to measure his arm, and you see his shoulders risen, so to measure it now, I usually, I measure this the way I measure my drawings, from head to crotch, and from crotch to ankle, right, so, and then the foot is extra, so that's, before I, uh, before I put him into position, he's straight up and down, from head to crotch, he's nine inches, and then from crotch to ankle, he's nine inches, giving him 18 inches, or one quarter scale, six foot, and so the extra inch of foot from his ankle to the ground, or so, whatever that is, that, that'll that make up for, because I'm not sure how tall the character is. I think he's oh, taller than six. So if he's like six four, that extra inch will put him perfect, right? <laughs> but if he's like six seven, six eight, then he's a little bit short. <laughs> a little bit. Like a, a half an inch or something like that. But other than that, he's probably on the accurate side. Um... He's still close enough to be one quarter inch, so I mean a quarter scale. Uh, so, but um, I uh, pushed his shoulder back, and like I said, I, I added some more mass to his pecs. Uh, he's got to get bulkier. He's definitely gonna get uh, more mass to him. And um, let me see. Um, um, what other? I'm gonna have to come up with some more okay i think the first clues with that it was um if i remember correctly the first clues were that were that it's a comic skate character it's live on uh, it's not live it's in demand on indiegogo and It made over twenty thousand. So the second clue is that it made over thirty thousand, and uh, and um, let me see. It made over thirty thousand. Um. I should have wrote this stuff down. <laughs> My mind has been on other things. As, you know, I've been working on this. I'm working on uh, Might still. Might is is slowing down just a little bit because it's so much work that I've gotten myself into. <laughs> I kind of like a little bit overwhelmed. And uh, so I just need to to relax my brain a little and with this I, I can uh, turn this over real quick once it's finished I can within like a month or two I should if, if people want to buy the statue because like I said it's a tall pretty tall you know once it's down in position anything up in his hand that's going to be the top of the height so he's not really 18 inches tall anymore because he's all bent up and down into this broken up position, but, um, he's definitely going to be pretty tall, and taking up some room, maybe I didn't consider the, how much space he's going to be taking up, but as far as the, the, the base, uh, I'm going to cut these corners off, and Certain things are going to be cleaned up. I'm going to cut off some of these corners and make things uh, more tight. But uh, let me see. 
So he made thirty thousand. He made twenty thousand here. Um, what's another clue? Okay, this statue is a leader or the main character. This is the main character. Yeah, this is the main character. Made over thirty thousand. That's good enough for now. We'll save some more for later, cause I don't know how many of these videos I'm gonna be making before somebody recognizes it. <clears throat> so uh, I, I gotta keep the clues, cause I don't know how many clues I got <laughs> that I, that won't give away the character. So if you know the character, the 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 campaign. Uh, get in touch with me at imonstrosis x on Twitter, or in my DMs, or or post it, post it on, on in the in, on Twitter and uh put the what is it at Mon this x, just put at this x and I think I get a uh, uh, notification and I get back to y'all and uh the first person to to uh figure out. Who the character is will get and he's into wants the you want to buy the statue you get a hundred dollars off so now from what I understand uh, I've been looking into these statues for a couple of years now and the latest I uh, heard from one of the guys in doing videos on 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 YouTube they say that Quarter quarter scale statues go from nine hundred to twelve hundred dollars easy today, and I know that this isn't uh, show uh, uh, what what a uh, sideshow or or XM or any of those other ones, but I I think by the time I'm finished here, y'all gonna see that it's gonna be well worth it. Because I'm going to be putting a lot of details. I'm going to be uh, making this shit look badass. So, yeah. So, I figure around $600. That's $300 cheaper than <laughs> anything that they putting up there. So, and uh, you gonna, you'll have to pay for the painting. You'll have to pay for the painting. But it's going to be a resin statue. And, um... Yeah. Well, you'll see it if you like it and you want to get down. I, that's all I could do. It's, it's, like I said, it's a quarter scale statue. And his foot right here is going to be up here. This, oh, this is going to be, his foot is going to be up here. That's going to be the bottom of his foot somewhere up here. Because this is his ankle right here. So his foot's going to be right there. Just like over here. See. Yeah, look at them rippling muscles. Look at them rippling muscles. Them pectorals. Yeah, so. This is the contest. Guess who this character is. And... Hundred dollars off the statue if you want to buy. I'll have a campaign. Talk to the artists, and uh, and uh, see what's going on. All right, y'all. Uh, Monstrous of the Sex here again on Goddam Comics, and I'm out. Don't forget to subscribe, do that YouTube thing, subscribe, like, all of that goody, goody, goody. So, yeah, I, I got, you can see I got some work to do, this abdominals need to kind of accordion up this way like a fan. See, it's, it's got to be this way, his hips are this way. So, it's got to, as it goes up, it's got to spread like he's crunching on the right side. Oops. He's crunching on the right side. 
his his body is crunching a little bit on this side and stretching on this side. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more width, more girth to his sides, maybe a little bit to his hips. Let me see. His butt is starting to take shape. Yep, starting to look good. Starting to look good. I gotta put some more clay on this side of his head. It's kind of tied up against his arm. So that's what's next. Give him some more girth. Throw his lats on, his shoulders. I gotta measure this arm so that I can I can I gotta measure that arm so that I can measure this arm because both of them are off. This one's low, so I can, I usually I should have measured it, but I didn't. But I usually when I draw I measure I have uh, landmarks the bottom of the ribs where the elbow go, but you can't do that with this. You have to know how long the the bone. This is supposed to be like his bone, so. I got a his skeleton, so I got to go in there and measure that and then add everything on top of that. That's what's going to give me the good dimensions. So, yeah, I got to measure this and make sure I got the right length before I put the hand on. And from the shoulder to his wrist, from the, from the joint to the wrist. So I'm thinking skeletal. Um, I, I I learned a lot from watching Proco. The Proco is the channel, uh, P R O K L O, and um, the 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 video is called Human Proportions, and if you see if. The thumbnail should have a skeleton with blue boxes. That's the one. There's two of them, I think. The one with the blue boxes, that's the one that gives you all of the proportions that I use for making my ragmen and these statues. It helps because that's the 12, 12 skull proportions instead of the 8 head. Instead of the whole head... Instead of the whole head, you're only using the back of the skull. So, say it's two inches for the head, you're only using an inch. And it measures down. You get a certain amount down to the crotch, and then the same certain amount down to the ankle. The same thing is just 12 instead of 8. So, you get more precise dimensions on the rib cage. So, I, that's what I need to measure. I think his measurement is one and a and an eighth, cause his whole head is two and a quarter. So, and the two and a quarter, two and a quarter, two and a quarter, two and a quarter, and that's nine. <laughs> See, two and a quarter. That's nine inches. And then the same thing down. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter, all the way down. So that helps with the being more precise with the measurements. And so that's what I didn't do. I didn't measure my arms. I'm new to this, people. I'm new to statues. So, but I know I, I can do it. It's, it's, I don't think it's, I know there's things I've, I've been watching videos. I've been watching my boy David Lemon. He's a, he's a really good, he does bronzes. And he works with this clay, this precise M M something, G G Mac, something like that, G Mac uh, clay. And I got like two fifty pound boxes. One is the soft and one is the hard. I should have gotten all hard, but uh, yeah. But anyway, 
I'm using this until it's, I got plenty left, so I'm making me some statues, and we're going to see what we can do. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. That's way longer than I intended to go, so um, y'all get back to me. I'm out.